Here's we, a quick question. A what does it mean to not shave the corners of my beard and why? So if you look at the passages uh, in uh, Leviticus and Deuteronomy and you take this within the broader context, there are four things that are prohibited as rituals related to the dead. And specifically, it talks about cutting yourself for the dead, which is something they actually still do to this day in Lebanon. Mm. Um, when someone dies, and particularly they mourn the death of one of their prophets, they take a sword and they hit themselves in the head till they bleed. That's an ancient Canaanite custom. And what they would do is they'd rip out the hair of their face and they'd rip out the hair of their head. And th that, and then they would put tattoos with the name of the dead person, something that's also done here in America. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what it means in Leviticus and Deuteronomy when it talks about the, uh, dis marring or destroying the corners of your beard and the corners of your, of your head. It's not talking about like the Orthodox Jews took it to mean later, making these side locks, these twirls around your, 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 your of hair. That's uh, not what it is. In its historical context, it means when someone dies, you don't shave your beard and you don't shave your head. I shave my head because I've accepted the reality of my situation. Uh, I tell people this is a choice. It's not a very big choice. Um, <laughs> So it's not a lot of work. Um, but what it's talking about in the biblical context is shaving your beard and shaving your head and cutting yourself and making tattoos for the dead. And if you're not doing it for the dead, it actually is completely irrelevant, not what the Bible's talking about. Thank you for supporting Nehemiah's McCore Hebrew Foundation. Learn more at NehemiahsWall.com.